Hey guys, Steve Vickers, Daniel here, and today um, I'm finally going to make the video that you've all been waiting for, and that is the DVD slash Blu-ray slash PlayStation 3 game update. Okay, I've got quite a lot to show you. I've got, wait, let me count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 um, new things to show you. Okay. First we're going to start off with the PlayStation 3 game and that is Call of Duty World at War. Um, I've been a huge fan of the Call of Duty franchises and um, all the Medal of Honors. So yeah, I picked this up. Well, I didn't pick it up. Um, my younger brother gave me it as a gift. He bought me it. Um, so yeah, absolutely fantastic. Uh, unfortunately the disc isn't even in there because it's in my PlayStation at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's quite an experience. Really, really is well good a well good game. I don't know why I'm putting them over there. <clears throat> I'm just going to quickly flip through these guys because I don't want to bore you too much because you've all been waiting for this video for so long and I'm just I'm such a dick because I didn't actually bring it to you as clo as soon as possible because I've been so busy. Okay this next DVD is a Blu-ray sorry should I say. It's the best Blu-ray no second best Blu-ray I have ever earned in my entire collection uh, fantastic play, um, fantastic, oh, fucking play, fantastic um, film. That's what you call it, and it features Ryan Gosling and its drive. Oh my God, this is a fucking amazing film, guys. Now I can't really show you and tell you quite a lot about these because I want to quickly flick through them, as you know. Um, but if you want to know anything, any more information about any of the DVDs I show you. Um, or PlayStation 3 game or Blu-ray or whatever, you know, just private message me or comment to this video. Okay, so this, this next DVD is a DVD and I bought it yesterday and it was a £5 and this was a really, really good buy. And that is Hop. And this features, um, what's his name? Who plays the voice of him? Russell Brand. Yes, there we go. But it also actually features Russell Brand in it as well, and it features James Marsden. Marsden, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, fun movie. Kids will love it. You're a huge fan of the uh, Alvin and Chipmunks, Despicable Me, Finding Nemo, Cars, and all and what. Then you will be a huge fan of this. And what I like about it is uh, the lenticular slipcase of the Hop DVD. Okay, this um next DVD, <coughs> sorry, uh, this next DVD is the shittest DVD I have ever earned, but I only watch it and keep it now for Jason Bateman, and that is Juno. I say shit, it's actually a good film, I just can't stand hair, I really can't. This next film was a total blind buy and a total letdown, and I've been wanting to get this for a long time, and it's New York, I Love You. This next film I got was, um, well, his next two films I got are quite old films um, by M. Night Shyamalan or Shyamalan or whatever you call it, um, who did uh, Signs, um, Six Sense, The Unbreakable, and that is The Village and um, A Lady in the Water. These are actually really old films, but I really, really enjoy them. This used to freak me out a lot when I was a kid, and um, this. I kept having nightmares about the wolves in this when I was a kid as well. But as you say, as you can see, I'm a bit older now, and you just get over it, don't you? This is a ne this next film is quite an old film. Um, I've only seen it once ever in my life, and that's when I bought it. Um, until then, I've never seen it, and that is Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, and this is the special edition as well, the two discs. And actually, I bought it for 99p, well, a pound, and I came home and I was actually blown away because it's actually quite expensive, so yeah, I got a good bargain on that. Another old film, guys, Men in Black, and this is the collector's edition, and it features Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. Will Smith. This next film is a truly deeply scary film and it's one hour photo with Robin Williams. 
I love all of his work. I'm a huge fan of Ron Williams. He's my favourite actor in the whole world. He always will be. And this film was really, really scary. It's a good film and he played really, really well in this. So yeah, want to know more information? I'll be making a review if I haven't already made one. So keep an eye out for that. This next one was a top line by and it was brand new and I can't remember the price of it. I was really down somewhere. And it's Jodie Foster's flight plan. This was really emotional, um, you know, if you have a child, a daughter, and, you know, this would really, really open out to you if, you, you know, you want to, how can I say it, um, where you want to be extra, extra careful of the uh, security of your children, you know, um, not the security, um, the protection of your kids, uh, your children, and uh, if you lose them, yeah, they're more important than anything you ever earn in your whole entire life, and yeah, this will really open out to you if you have kids. It really did open out to me, but I don't have kids, but it really did make me cry, and really, really emotional film, but absolutely fantastic. So the question is, guys, before you buy this, how far would you go to get your children back? Even if it means you going into prison for a couple of years and disturbing a lot of passengers on a, a plane in the air. So, yeah. This next DVD I got was Pulse. Now, I've had this for a long... I, I did used to have this for a long time, but I uh, lent it to a friend, and now I never got it back, so I had to rebuy it again. So, don't lend your DVDs out, guys, or you will never get them back, and you have to rebuy them. And I'm still looking for uh, a new case, because that is a bit shit, and it doesn't look nice. I want to see all five posters. I've only seen number one. I know, I can't believe it. But this really freaks me out since the uh, the day I watched it. Um, I think it was about... I think I just left secondary school when I watched this for the first time ever. Um, and it freaked me out then, and it freaks me out now. So, yeah, really, really scary film, guys, but fantastic. Okay, this next film I don't know anything about, but it was uh, a newish film of 2010 or 2011, and that's Skinwalkers. And I did buy this, but it was really, really cheap, and I'm pretty impressed with the price. The case isn't too bad, um, it's got a bit of scuff there, but I'll just have to get another white case, and I'll make do when I've got to make do. So, yeah, fantastic, guys. Okay, as I said, I didn't really want to keep you uh, waiting, so I'm just going to flick through them on the list, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to explain how much these cost me. Juno cost me two quid. New York, I Love You cost me four quid. Uh, the Village cost me a quid. Men in Black cost me one pound fifty. Made in the Water cost me two pound ninety nine. Um, Psycho was nine and p. One hour four was a quid. Uh, Flight Plan was one pound fifty. Drive Blue Air was thirteen quid. Pulse was nine and p. Skinwalkers was nine and p. Cold Duty was a gift. Yeah, Cold Duty World at War was a gift. But I do know how much my younger brother paid for it, and that was three quid. And uh, from a car boot sale, so. But I think he might take it back because it's got a crack of the disc and it sometimes doesn't play. But, um, yeah, that's more. Oh, shit, no, in. Um, I haven't worked one on it yet, but that was hot, and that cost me a fiver. Um, so, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm sorry this video has took so fucking long to actually make um so yeah i'm just gonna quickly flick through them all again guys and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna let you have more time to yourself with the rest of the night okay skinwalkers pulse flight plan that's just my chair squeaking one hour photo men in black psycho alfred hitchcock psycho uh, Emanite Shamanan or whatever his name is, I can't even pronounce his name, Lady in the Water, the Village, New York I Love You, this fucking chair's annoying me, Juno, All Plenticular Slipcase, Drive, three, um, just original glossy slipcase, but that's, oh, it's not embossed, I thought it was embossed, and Call of Duty World of War PlayStation 3 game. 
If you'd like to know any more information about any of these titles I have shown you today, please do private message me or even comment this video. I'm sorry that it's been took it's taken like forever to actually make and uh, I've just been really, really busy. By the way guys, thank you very much for watching and uh, there'll be a, a movie review of uh, some film in my uh, in my collection um, later on tonight. So yeah guys, thank you very much for watching and I really do appreciate it. You've been fantastic to me and uh, to me all uh, last year and the beginning and until now of this year so yeah I'm just gonna keep going guys I'm so so sorry I had the videos took too long um, I promise you the next um, DVD update video won't take as long um, alright guys I'm gonna let you have the rest of the night off and uh, I'll take care and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. This is Stevie Clay's Daniel and I'm signing out.